Weekly Outdoor Plus is a new and exciting outdoor show right here on Fox 55 WFXS, now on at 9.30 a.m. Sunday mornings, presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, starring new owner Gary Hintz. His youngest son, the show pro, Jace Hintz. And the show producer, creator, and host, his oldest son, Seth Hintz. So now sit back and relax and get ready to learn about archery and the world of the outdoors. Okay, we're here today with Chris at the Paper City Whitetail Unlimited chapter, and uh, he's here to tell us a little bit about what's going on today. Okay. We have our uh, annual banquet for the Whitetails Unlimited, the Paper Cities chapter here in Wisconsin Rapids. Uh, we are about 130 people that we sold tickets to today. This is a big improvement from last year. Over the last three years, we averaged about 90 people. And a big thing for this year is all our proceeds are going to a youth hunters banquet. We're trying to really increase the youth uh, programming for hunting, get the number of kids out in the woods increased. Um, not only that, but help the adults and the mentors, you know, teach them about what they need to do and how they treat kids in the woods. It's a little bit different and just get them excited about it as well. We have uh, a lot of good sponsors here tonight. We appreciate Bucks and Bulls being one of the sponsors and they're going to be the highlight of the youth part tonight because we have two bulls we're going to give away. Uh, we probably have, right now, I think 18 to 20 youth that are going to participate in a, in a different raffle and the top two are going to win bulls. Other ones will have hats and shirts and different things that we'll give out so every kid will walk away with something tonight. Very nice. So the kids have a good chance of winning a bowl. Then. Yeah, definitely. And that's been a big draw since uh, we talked about getting bowl sponsorship. I think we more than doubled the number of kids that are coming here tonight. Yeah, so good. they're excited about it. For youth raffle tonight, we have uh, a new sponsor this year, Bucks and Bull Archery out of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. They have two bowls that they've donated for this youth raffle tonight. We're very appreciative of that. We have a kids out in the woods. Like at Bucks and Bulls Archer we do a lot of that. We take kids out hunting and stuff and it's kind of 
same thing what you guys are trying to do with your yeah definitely yeah. Okay. well we, there's a statistic for every 100 hunters we lose in the nation we only gain 69 so we gotta keep kids excited and get them involved in, in youth sports Great. And hunting so okay well thanks Chris thank you very much for being here appreciate it yep, thank you don't miss out on the chance for you and your family to attend the 2013 Central Wisconsin Youth Hunters Banquet at noon on Sunday, October 20th at the Wisconsin Rapids Elk Lodge. It is open to all youth hunters ages 10 to 17. Door prizes, raffles, guest speakers, and a spaghetti dinner are only a few small details. Cost is only $5 and youth are free. So sign up by October 15th because we are limited to 125 people. Stop down here to Bucks and Bulls Archery for your sign up sheet and details. What's that buddy? Oh yeah, it'll be done before the Packer game. If you're looking for a vacuum that is going to perform year in and year out, look no further. SIBO is the best of the best. Pick up your SIBO today at Barber Shop, 2400 Church Street, Stevens Point. ProWash commercial and residential mobile power washing service will get it clean. Whether it's a house, garage, roof, patio, or deck, ProWash uses all hot water, putting them above the rest. They also use all biodegradable chemicals to get out any mold or rotting that's ruining your home. So take a large step towards protecting one of your biggest investments and have the cleanest house on the block. Call 715-341-7852 for an estimate today and ask for the Pro at ProWash. 715-341-7852. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I saw bucks on camera I never knew I had. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point or realdealmineral.com. Cars are more than just metal. They're our best friend, and our best friend's best friend. They're our chariots and our workhorses. They make us feel alive, and they put us to sleep. They make us laugh, and they make us proud. So when something happens to them, something happens to us. From dents and scratches to glass and collision repair, CarStar Auto Body Repair experts do it all, so you can drive away happy. Ask your insurer for CarStar. Relax, we'll take it from here. So check out your local Pat's CarStar Auto Body in Plover the next time you need help. Before experiencing it, you won't know dependability. Unless you've drawn it, you haven't felt smooth. Until you shoot it, You've yet to be this accurate. The Matthews Creed. Available at Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And now time for some field shooting with Gary. First one I'm going to shoot is a toxic broadhead. Maximum red Carbon Express Arrows Creed Matthews Bowl, 50 yards. Next broadhead will be a slick trick. Same setup, slick trick 50 yards. Looks like a pretty good group. Let me uh, let me zoom in on it and we'll see what it looks like. Looks like one a couple inches right and one about an inch left. That's about a what, three inch group at 50. Well, I'm here now back at Bucks and Bulls Archery. I'm going to show you a little bit about the arrow I was shooting out in the field. Um, this Maximum Red Hunter Carbon Express is uh, designed for broadheads. The the two ends here are stiffer than the center part. The red zone is weaker than the ends. The front end is heavier than the back end, so it gives you a weight forward technology. The red zone is actually the part that flexes when you shoot your arrow. 
the spine, when you shoot an arrow, the spine of the arrow, it, it wiggles back and forth like this, and it's supposed to do that. That's the forgiveness in the spine of the arrow. If it's too stiff, it won't shoot good. But on this particular arrow, all the bending in the spine of the arrow is done in the red zone here. So your uh, broadhead and your field point stay true in flight and just the center of the arrow flexes. So you're not moving your broadhead in flight, it's staying true to the target, which I think is huge. It's a, I watched slow motion videos on it and it was really impressive. And uh, on this one, I got a Carbon Express lighted knock, which really comes in handy when you're shooting. You'll know exactly where you hit the animal. And it's easier to recover your arrow and the animal. And then on the other end, we got this toxic broadhead. It's uh, new this year, made in the United States. And uh, it cuts circles instead of slices, which is huge. My boy Jay shot a bear the, last week, Wednesday, with one of these. He shot it at 32 yards, and the bear ran 15 yards, and it had a big blood trail, a big holes. You'll probably see that later, maybe you've seen it already. And uh, a lot of my customers are shooting does with these things. There's kids that come in here, they're shooting like 40 pounds with a 25 inch draw, and the, I mean, it's a slow arrow, and it still penetrates enough to kill that deer, and it leaves a big blood trail. Uh, another friend of mine, he shot two deer with this broadhead, and he's been hunting a long time. He said he never seen a blood trail like that. He said he didn't even have to track it. He just walked on the blood trail right up to the deer, which is pretty cool. Make everything that, anytime you make it easier, to, it's better. The toxic broadheads have uh, replaceable blades, and you can see the, the, the cut it makes on the package here. And we actually have some here we practice with. And I'll tell you, if you, you can come in here I got a big box full of broadheads, all different kinds of them. So if you shoot something other than a toxic, I probably have an old one you can come in here and practice with it. Otherwise, I'll tell you what, it's very important to shoot a broadhead before you hunt. Because on the package it says they shoot just like a field tip, but they don't, none of them do. If, you, if they do, you just lucked out is all it is. Because everybody that comes in here shoots their broadhead and their field point, and none of them match. They all, some six inches, some as much as eight inches different groups. So what we do is we just sight the bow in with the broadhead and we go hunt. That way we know we're going to hit where we're aiming when it comes down to the moment of truth. That's huge. I shot my slick tricks and my toxic broadheads together. 50 yards, I had a three inch group with my maximum red Carbon Express arrows. My Creed bow set about 63 pounds. Uh, I think I'm ready to go hunting tomorrow. I'm going to come back out here in the morning. I'm going to try my crossbow, the mission crossbow. I'm going to try sighting it in with uh, HHA optimizer site. We'll see how that goes. See you then. So one more important reminder. Come into Bucks and Bulls, make sure you shoot your broadheads before you hunt. It's very important. Uh, whether you're shooting a crossbow or any bull, shoot your broadheads first. You can come in here and practice. We have a big buck pool. It's for the first archery season only. You can sign up during the season, but then you can't bring a deer in for three days after you sign up, which is just a little waiting period. And uh, bring us some pictures of some deer and some success stories. Especially if, if you're using something maybe we don't know about or that we sell here, it'd even be more important, I guess. Bring us success stories and bring us some pictures and good luck. Shoot straight. Hi, welcome to Frank's Hardware in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Proud of your family owned and operated since the 1940s. Conveniently located on Highway 10, Frank's Hardware has all your general hardware needs and we specialize in a wide variety of products. Meaning all of your paint, lawn and garden, plumbing, electrical, and many more of those household needs. Not only do we have a new one, where we can show you how to fix what you already have. Did you know Frank's Hardware also offers a wide variety of services? So stop on down to Frank's Hardware today. We don't just have great products, but we have great service. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village, right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable, unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone, with hundreds to choose from. So they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point is now under new ownership and has a new location. Stop down to 3272 Church Street and meet the new owner, Gary Hanks. His fully stocked pro shop carries Matthews, Hoyt, and many more products to serve all your needs. They also do all repairs for any style and full customizations. Leagues and lessons will begin soon. 
So stop in today and check out what's new, because we're confident that we can get you from in here to out there. Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I had over a thousand pictures on my trail cameras in less than a week. Real Deal Mineral. Available here at Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, or realdealmineral.com. Welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus. Jace Hintz here with you guys again. Um, I'm going to be basically going over with you guys how I prepare when I get in the woods and when it, before I get in the woods so that I know if the shot comes I'll be perfect, ready to execute and you know not wound anything. Have a nice short track is basically our idea here. Um, what I do is I get out of the truck obviously, get all my stuff set up, get everything ready, get it all out. The next thing you got to do, make sure you obviously have everything. Check everything off your list from your release to your arrows to make sure your arrows are quality shape, make sure your bowstring's all good, you know, go just one little quick glance over everything. Uh, the next thing you're going to be doing is setting up your target. Bring any sort of little target, like I got a little one here that works really good. Um, I mean, it, it, does, it does its job, you know. I'm not going to be shooting, you know, 40, 50, 60 yard shots here. What I'm going to be doing is taking three, four really good shots. What I normally do is start at, I have 25 and 35 yard pins. So I'll start at 25 yards, I'll take my shots, you know, maybe one or two, and I only shoot one arrow, whatever arrow, you know, I don't want to dull up all my broadheads, so I'll just shoot one arrow at a time. I'll shoot it, go get it, make sure you're making good shots. You know, you only take one shot in the woods, hopefully, that's the game plan, so take one good shot, go get it, take another good shot, go get it. If you're good there, back up to your second pin, take one or one or two shots, just make sure you're confident with it, basically. Take a good shot, if it hits where you're hitting, you know, really close, perfect, good enough. Go pull it out. The last thing I always do is make sure that you take a shot, you know, 15 yards, really close. If you have a 20 yard pin, shoot 15. If you, you know, even 10 yards. I got a 25 yard pin, I'll shoot 15 just to make sure, okay, I hit this much high. If a deer comes in, I know how low I need to aim on it. You know what I mean? So just so to make sure that you're not gonna be hitting too high or low. That's the biggest problem a lot of people have. So make sure, go over those couple little yardages, you know, make sure you're confident in your yardage sights and that's what's gonna make you have a better shot. You know, 97% of it's in between your ears and if you get that down, you'll be set. So as you know, I mean, always be ready, be prepared. That's what we're gonna to try to do right now, see how it goes, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. All right, now it's time for one of our more exciting segments here on Weekly Outdoor Plus. It's where we get to keep our fans connected with the show. Don't forget, you can send in your pictures to weeklyoutdoorplus at live.com or link them up to us on Facebook to get in this segment of our show. Each week as Sopa Cellular makes it extremely easy for you to capture these photos and then send and share them around effortlessly. Our first picture this week comes from our good friend John who is all ready to go after stopping at Bucks and Bulls Archery. And next we have one of Marcy Hebert with her Wisconsin Black Bear from this year. And here's one from 10 year old Ed shooting his brand new bow he got for his birthday. And this one comes from Dustin Bronick who already got a nice buck this year with his bow. This picture comes from our online friends Swamp Buck Chasers who shared this awesome picture with us. And here's Austin Stankowski with the nice eight point buck he harvested already this year. And here's a picture of Grant hanging out in Grandpa's new oversized lawn chair he won at the Whitetails Unlimited Banquet. And last but not least we have Haley from Almond who comes to Bucks and Bulls Archery just to practice for tournaments. So stop on down to Sopa Cellular today and check out all their great deals. And stay tuned for more Weekly Outdoor Plus action. ProWash, commercial and residential mobile power washing service will get it clean. Whether it's a house, garage, roof, patio, or deck, ProWash uses all hot water, putting them above the rest. They also use all biodegradable chemicals to get out any mold or rotting that's ruining your home. So take a large step towards protecting one of your biggest investments and have the cleanest house on the block. Call 715-341-7852 for an estimate today and ask for the Pro at ProWash. 715-341-7852. If you're looking for a vacuum that is going to perform year in and year out, look no further. 
SIBO is the best of the best. Pick up your SIBO today at Barbershop, 2400 Church Street, Stevens Point. Cars are more than just metal. They're our best friend, and our best friend's best friend. They're our chariots and our workhorses. They make us feel alive, and they put us to sleep. They make us laugh, and they make us proud. So when something happens to them, something happens to us. From dents and scratches to glass and collision repair, CarStar Auto Body Repair experts do it all. So you can drive away happy. Ask your insurer for CarStar. Relax. We'll take it from here. So check out your local Pat's Car Star Auto Body in Plover the next time you need help. It's summertime and the living's easy. If you start all your projects here at Frank's Hardware on Highway 10 in Stevens Point. From seeds to irrigation and endless lawn and garden tools, we have it all so you can get your work done and enjoy it this summer. We also do screen repair, lawnmower blade and knife sharpening and offer the supplies to put in your own well, including equipment rental. And while you're here, pick up your seed and sets in bulk so you always have the right amount. So make us your lawn and garden headquarters this summer. That's Frank's Hard Rock, Highway 10 at Stevens Point. See you soon. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village, right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable, unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone, with hundreds to choose from. So they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Hey guys, Seth here. We're out on the opening weekend of the uh, Wisconsin bow hunting season in 2013. And today I'm sitting out at a new lease that we have with my friend Matt, who's uh, he's filming for me today. And it's an uh, evening hunt right now. We, uh, we didn't come out opening morning. Um, the temp temperature has been just phenomenal. It's, you know, one of one of the better weekends that we've had for opening weekend of bow season in a long time. It's been usually it's really hot, really warm, and kind of hard to hunt, but it's been really awesome. I think the high tonight's only supposed to be 38, so really looking forward to doing some hunting as it's uh, kind of cool and really, like I said, perfect weather for this fall hunt. Um, We've been seeing a couple decent bucks out here on the camera, so I got a couple cameras up with some video, and we do have probably two or three different bucks coming in that are pretty decent, but today we're going after a big doe. We gotta get some meat in that freezer, so it's like I said, it's opening weekend here of the 2013 bow season. We're trying to make something happen.
couldn't have been any better. She stopped right about 18 yards away, kind of cordon away from me, and I put a great shot on her. Now it's time to go see what we got. Well, Matt, we did it. It wasn't easy. We we got in here about a half hour early or so just to hang up a camera stand here because we've been getting some good uh, pictures of deer coming around here. So we got in here a little early, you know, shed a little sweat, but it sure paid off because that doe came in right between us here. It was perfect. You got to see the blood on this arrow. About an 18 yard shot or so and I would say by the consistency of big blood spots here she didn't go too far. I actually saw her head right down the trail here. Let's go take a look. Well I really don't think she went too far. There's blood droplets all over these things. This stick here's got blood going all the way up to here on it. It's just about as bloody as my arrow. I know I heard a crash not too far up here, so can't be far. I'm using these Hellraiser broadheads right now because when I shot that boar in Africa, it just they just let the blood fly. And as you can see, I'm still finding drops of blood here. We're about 30 yards from the stand or so. And one thing that's really nice about where we're about to find this doe is it's about three feet off this road, so I couldn't have played that one any better. She looks like a nice sized doe too. Got a perfect exit wound right here, just behind that front shoulder. Let's see where, that's where she went in. Right here's the, where the arrow went in. She, like I said, she was kind of quartering right away from me. Made a really good shot here. Just behind the ribs, or just behind the front shoulder, right through the ribs here. I would guess uh, probably double longer. A little okay. above the heart, but right where you want to be. Really good sized doe. I couldn't be more happier with my first kill of the 2013 season here. And she's actually got a little bit of winter fur coming in here already. Got a little bit of, bit of hair coming in, so now we gotta get the truck down in here and get her loaded up. Like I said, it's kinda nice, she's right on the road, so make it easy for ourselves. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Weekly Outdoor Plus, presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Don't forget to check us out online at facebook.com slash weeklyoutdoorplus. See you next week.